so gigantic. I think we became very familiar with the architecture, which allowed us to build a set that tied into it. What is this? When I looked at this Megatron hangar, this illustration, I'm like, that's the vibe of the movie right there. And it's amazing how one or two illustrations can just set the vibe. We use the playa hangars where Howard Hughes built the Spruce Goose. And it's this great wood structure. It's kind of narrow, but it's very tall ceilings. You're able to build a lot of different sets. So you can go back and forth you know, in this kind of huge space, but it's kind of separated and it's a great place to film. Basically, we were sort of using the structure as it was and then embellishing and sort of making it look like a vintage facility again in a subterranean setting under Hoover Dam where Megatron was frozen in ice. Even though Megatron had been encapsulated in this space, for many, many years, he's still being maintained. So it was a little bit of like new technology mixed with old technology. Very much like Hoover Dam is. When you go in, there are things that have never changed in there.